Hi guys, um, today's episode of Chow Files, we're going to be having Chef Cupid. So please, can you um, tell us a little about yourself? Okay, uh, my name is Nelson Michaels, um, I'm a pastry chef. I work at the Reddish Chronicles as a pastry chef instructor and uh, I basically love baking a lot. Yeah, so that's basically it. And uh, yeah, um, I'm happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, today we are going to be making a mandolin. 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 Yeah, mandolin. 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 Yeah. Mandolin. Okay. Yeah. So uh, mandolin basically they are French cakes, but in okay. English we want to just call it cookies. Why? I don't know. We don't have a problem. Okay. So, uh, but basically, why is uh, why mandolin are called uh, cakes? Because because they are soft on the inside. Okay. And why they are called the cookies because they are um, crunchy on the outside and they are very very small. Oh, okay. So mandolin they are baked they are baked in a mandolin pan or a shell pan. Okay. So that's, um, that's what. Well, that's true. This actually looks like a shell. shell. Yeah. Huh. Okay. So we're going to be having seashell cookies. Shell, <laughs> shell cakes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So are these everything we need? Yes, these are all we need to make our mandolins. Okay. We need flour, we need sugar, we need eggs, we need butter, which we're going to be melting. Okay. We melted butter and we need a lemon juice for just that tiny taste. Yeah. Just yeah, to so reduce the sweetness. So okay. It, it will sweet, but you need sweet because of the lemon juice. So ah, okay. Yeah, that's trick. Interesting. But will it taste like the lemon? Like, would we have the lemon taste or is it just to neutralize the taste? Of yes, the sugar? you have the lemon taste. You have the lemon taste in it. So if we're going to be neutralizing the sugar, then why do we need so much sugar? Because uh, what sugar does, sugar um, helps to caramelize. Okay. Um, it helps for the crunch. So oh, that's okay. why the, um, the base of the uh, mandolin yeah. will be crunchy. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's not just for taste? It's for cement, for and crunch for the taste. Mm -hmm. Alright. Okay. So, let's start. So we have the like, mixing metal. Okay. We have the cream metal, we have the all together metal, and we have the foam metal. Okay. Yeah, so for this cake, we are using the foam metal. Okay. And for the foam metal, we need the whisk attachments. Whisk attachments. So when using the foam metal, you want to incorporate more air into your cake batter. Okay. That's whisking your sugar and your eggs. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. when you use them, let me see. Volume increase, right? Like inside. Yeah. So after you've done that, once you add your hot water, it's just it's to it. right? So you don't want that to happen. So you just need that to the temperature. So I can make puff puff. So layman's language, that's like using cold water for your yeast. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Or yeast is another. No, I don't like like that because cold water is not rice. Right? Uh, yeah, cold water is not rice. Yeah. yeah. It won't activate. Activate. Yes. That's the. Um, mm -hmm. To have the proof. Yes. Right, yeah. So, if you use this, it won't. Mm -hmm. As you go. Yeah. Yeah. The water will come in. Yeah. As you go. So, now, this should be. Do you want to help me that? Yes, yes. This step. So, in this recipe, we are going to be using two eggs and okay. one egg yolk. Okay. So, we don't want it too runny, too much eggs. 
we make you all that's actually one of the blunt gentlemen. So uh, that's really good.
tell us what um, motivated your journey into culinary to Okay, uh, so many factors. Okay. Um, but most importantly, I wanted to find a purpose. Okay. I wanted to find a purpose for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so class, uh, I was born to die. Yeah. And um, my parents were very, very scared. So, that part was awesome. So, like I said, I was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, um, so, I wanted to go to my first part of my life that I could do something. Because I felt I had a value. Also, that I could do something. So, I am a self taught yeah. Really? Yes. Okay. I do that. <laughs> okay. self and I, I wake up every day thinking I know nothing. And that is what I'm trying to do. To learn something. So, um, this actually, because now you teach in culinary schools, so this means that you actually do not have to go to culinary schools for your first so. Yes, um, the whole thing about going to a culinary school is one for a special. Okay. Um, you, you can have the money, you can have the time, most don't have the commitment to do this one. Yeah. So, you have most of the best have the commitment. Or you can decide to invest your money or your time. Okay, time. So, so uh, I always tell my students, once you do not have that commitment, you are wasting your time. So just come here, laugh, play. And go back empty. That's it. So, so why why um, pastry? Why not pizza? Okay, um, growing up, my mom she was a place where I made baker and baker. Okay. So I always stay up because she calls her baking um, late night. So I always stay up making icing. <laughs> I did that. <laughs> making icing and whenever she's done with the bowl, I just get something to go and watch the bowl. I lick. Let her lie to you. I'm going to mix it up and I will get close <laughs> to tasting it. <laughs> so that, that was, I think, I think that was it. But I love cooking so much. I just, I just think why. The joy you derive from cooking is different. Excited to focus on just. Not just that. So, if if not if not uh, if not being a chef, what would you? Hmm. I don't want to say that. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me guess. You have probably been a poet. Oh no. Some sort of um, writer or some sort of 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 writer or some Please, is this like a man with chef? Keep it. Follow, follow him and slide into his chair. Or that cake. <laughs> no, his cakes honestly are to die for. His cakes are. So there was a cake you posted. You said, I, like, I had to ask him, is somebody going to eat this? That was beautiful. That cake was beautiful. Okay. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> Well, I, whenever I make a cake for a party or a wedding, mm -hmm. I try as much as possible not to attend that party. Why? Why? Because I don't know, it's, it's just this only big as for you too. Okay. You just have this thing when Why you are you working. Yeah. Day, like, ah, like you just you. pray me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I spent so much time making that. Just eat it in like 10 seconds. <laughs> but at the same time, uh, that joy you see when, when they are eating it, you already share what is enjoying. I just be like, yeah. 
<laughs> so, the uh, butter has chilled, very much nice. Now we're about to just pour the butter into the okay. pipe in the bag. So, in case you don't want that one, you can get a cup. You can have someone hold it for you. So, Mm, now it looks like ice cream. <laughs> now after you've, you've chilled it, you need to mix it again gently. Okay.
know what is there about was what the following of something. What is it all? Okay, so fall in love with uh, culinary, fall in love with food, the whole process of it, the cooking, from the cooking to Sweet. everything, <laughs> fall in love with it. And um, pastry is probably more difficult than what uh, So they say it's a lie. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. That we are making for sure. So that's like a look. <laughs> about being a chef. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs>